Hi, my name is Sydney, and I've worked with Professor Allison Steiner this summer from the Department of Atmospheric, Oceanic, and Space Sciences. And what we're looking at is the impact of aerosols on regional land surface climate. So the picture you see here is from the IPCC AR4 report, and it shows the global effect of atmospheric constituents. And the bigger the bar, the bigger the effect. So, for example, CO2 has a bigger effect than, say, methane on the atmosphere. And the direction of the bar shows uh, whether it has a warming or cooling effect on the atmosphere. And the uncertainty bars uh, are a good gauge of how much we know about the, each species. So we know more about CO2 than, say, aerosols. And the reason we want to look at aerosols is because it can have as big of an impact as CO2 on the atmosphere. So we want to find out exactly how big that impact is. The picture you see there is the land surface balance. And um, the, what happens is the sun radiates down to the earth, and some of that energy gets absorbed into the ground. And the other parts of the energy get re-emitted into the atmosphere as either sensible heat flux or latent heat flux. And that's what normally happens. But when you add aerosols or clouds into the mix, it creates a barrier between the sun and the earth. So now some of that um, incoming radiation becomes scattered and it doesn't make it all the way to the Earth. It gets scattered back into the atmosphere. So what we want to look at is um, if we can see that effect in observational data from the ground. So what I did this summer was look at uh, nine sites in the Midwestern U.S. And the bottom left-hand corner, you can see a correlation between the heat flux and global radiance. And on the bottom panel there, you can see in the green a sensible heat flux and in the blue a latent heat flux, which is what I just talked about in the previous slide. And we want to correlate the changes in those uh, yearly with the amount of aerosols in the atmosphere and also with the amount of clouds in the atmosphere. And the cloud and the aerosol data we got by satellite, so we're trying to compare satellite data with ground data. And we will continue our data analysis in the fall of 2009.